the Loja at Clubhouse 2, and I want to introduce you to two people here. Patty, I had known from a trip that we took together. Monette is someone I just met, and Patty and I met on a trip with the Ocean Club, and it was wonderful. We went to Yosemite, and went to Carmel, and we went to see the Sequoias, and it was fabulous. It was a great, great trip. And then I just met Monette today, as a matter of fact, through Patty, and the focus really on the Thrive Program for this month is on having fun. And these ladies just moved here not long ago, and they have some stories to tell about why they moved here, where they moved from, and uh, what they're up to today, how they're thriving, what they've learned, um, and take it away. <laughs> <laughs> take oh, it away. Sure. Okay, well, let's see. I did move here from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And at that time, I said to myself, I'm going to retire to an active community. I want a lifestyle that would rejuvenate me in this Act 3, I call it, of life. <laughs> and so I went online. I looked in Arkansas, Florida, and California. And I said, I think I'll come out here to California for just a few months and see if it fits me. Well, it's over a year and a half later. I have had a wonderful time. I tell my friends I'm at camp because I've got tons of activities. It's also kind of like being in college. You have access to Saddleback College classes, but you don't have to work hard. You just sit back and absorb it. And the people out here, Southern hospitality in Louisiana is wonderful. And I thought the people out here might be a little cool and reserved. No, no. No, it's been great. And I met Monette playing bridge, mm, and okay. then we were in the Hikers Club together, the Ocean Club together. We play Mexican train with other friends and drink wine and pass a good time, as they say in Louisiana. Mm. So I love it out here. It's, it's been everything <clears throat> that I had hoped for. Great. I play bridge too, so when do you play? Wednesday yeah. nights. Oh, I miss you then. You must be better than I. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably. But we do have fun. Oh, good. And what's your story too, Monette? Well, um, let's see. I moved from Ohio to Florida and <clears throat> finished my career there, living 11 years in Florida. And then um, when I retired about a year and a half ago, my one of my daughters lives in Laguna Beach. And they encouraged me to get closer to them and my grandchildren. And they had actually heard about Laguna Woods Village from several of their friends who had parents who had moved here in the last few years. And so they came and drove around with a realtor who got them in just to get a feel for um, where they thought I should live. And they agreed. And then um, I sold my house the day I put it on the market, and I thought that was oh, a good sign. Great. I'm supposed to be going to California. Yes. <laughs> and I have to say, when I first arrived here, one of the things that I kept telling friends in Florida who were asking, you know, how is it, how is it, that people were friendlier than, than when I moved to Florida as far as welcoming me to whatever activity I showed my face at, or showing me the ropes and how to get places. And um, it's, it is, like Patty said, kind of like going to um, an adult day camp. You could do anything, you know, there's options to do something from 7.30 in the morning till 9.30 at night and change your schedule every day. So um, I've enjoyed just trying lots and lots of activities. I try to do one new thing every week that I haven't done before. Yeah. What are some of your favorite things that you've found that really help you thrive? Hiking. Oh, really? okay. Because I wasn't familiar with the area, <clears throat> I joined the hiking club. Um, doing things outside here in this climate is a pleasure. It was too hot and humid in Louisiana to do a lot of outside activities. So the hiking club, every Saturday morning, they take us to a really cool area that's nearby. So we've hiked Newport Beach, we've hiked in San Clemente, we've hiked Lake Forest, uh, Laguna Beach, and different places and trails and parks within those areas that I never would have found on my own. Mm -hmm. So uh, we usually meet at 8.30. We start hiking around 9 to get to where we're going. And uh, we're back around 11. 
And we've had a wonderful experience, and you still have the rest of your Saturday to do, you know, whatever else you plan. Oh, no. It's That's also one of my so interesting because you have we have company coming from out of town pretty regularly, and it, and that kind of gives you an idea of what is a fun walk to introduce them to a mm -hmm. place that we wouldn't otherwise know about. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Okay. So, what are some of the things you've done to your favorite? Oh my gosh, it's activity. hard for me to say my favorite activity. Um, I mean, I, I enjoy going on the Ocean Club sales, which are Wednesday or once on the weekend. Um, I've joined the 60 is the new 40 group, and everywhere I go, though, I keep meeting a, a, such a diverse group of interesting people that say, now, why don't you come and do this with us? Or, mm -hmm. you know, so I've <clears throat> met some gals at the 60 is the new 40s group and they invited me to come to Bunko and I play that once a month with them and um, it just you know one thing leads to another but unlike work you can say well I've gone a few times and that's not for me and try something else it's not like you are committed to go for the semester yeah I've done the same thing but I like the ocean club that sounds great I haven't tried that and the hiking club and I haven't tried that either but I found the same thing. I've tried a lot of different things this year in particular, and <clears throat> I kind of whittled it down to three basic things that I really, really like. But it's true. It's like you're not committed where, you know, if you yeah. want to drop out and say, well, you know, I'm just going to go on to something else. It's great, but I've taken up golf, which I like, and then the bridge, which uh, I really enjoy, and then the dancing, too. So we met in the dancing class just recently, too, so yeah. you just started yeah. that as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, an unclub. <laughs> it's not a formal group, but on Friday afternoons there's a French game called Petanque. Hmm. And it's played up there by Lawn Bowling near Clubhouse One. And it's kind of like Lawn Bowling with a little target ball and you, you know, throw a ball that you've got to shoot to the target. And it's just whoever drops in. And mm -hmm. afterwards, we sit around and have wine and talk about the world's Everybody problems. and a, a little appetizer. <laughs> yeah. So I share. invite you both to drop in <laughs> oh, okay. Friday what afternoons Friday? at 6. At 6, okay. Yeah. And it's over Clubhouse 1. Yeah. It's a okay. dirt court. Hmm. And um, it's funny because I'm going to France in September. And I'm thinking, I wonder if I really see them playing mm. Patonk. Yeah, it was just there <laughs> two weeks ago. I didn't see it. <laughs> well, it's a fun game. How fun. Okay, I've never even heard of it. Yeah, I oh, hadn't either until okay. yeah. Interesting. You're going to say something too. Oh, um, one of the things I've gotten most involved in is the garden club. Okay. Um, gardening is really something I enjoy immensely. And the speakers at the garden club are fabulous. Um, so it's Clubhouse One in the large um, hall, and um, it's the fourth Wednesday of the month. Um, I met such a large group of people there that I now see in water aerobics or hikers club, and I'm on the I'm one of the hospitality co-chairmen. Mm -hmm. But I love the fact that there are men and women, younger and older people, but they all have one common interest, and that is. Um, our environment and gardening and things that are pretty and so that's one thing that I've enjoyed and then I arranged one of their a trip through that to Sunnylands in Rancho Mirage mm -hmm. for 56 people last spring and <clears throat> I met you know I just keep meeting more people and um, it never gets boring. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that hopefully with the show you know we can encourage people to get out and meet other people because I've met a lot of people through other people. I mean, that's how the yes. circle seems to be widening. Because today I just met you, you know, which is great. But, you know, mm. what could we share with people to help them maybe get out and realize that really just through doing a few simple things or little things, they can meet someone and through that person, they can meet another person and you really find people that you click with, that you really like. Well, I find uh, when I'm around Clubhouse One and Clubhouse Three, mm -hmm. there are a lot of flyers. True. And if you look at the flyers for either trips to take or lessons to take or speakers to, you know, attend, uh, whatever interests you, I guarantee you there's going to be a great group of people there because there's, what, 18,000 people here. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is they say, you know, volunteer work is very rewarding. Mm -hmm. And you even have that opportunity here. 
I know Monette volunteers with the schools and I've mm -hmm. been with her to Top of the World Elementary to help oh. the kids plant gardens. And I myself belong to the Friendly Visitors Program. And we go out and we visit people that are more or less homebound. Mm -hmm. You know, for one reason or another, they would enjoy having some company. Mm -hmm. And that's extremely uh, important, I think, to feel like you are giving back, too, to the community. Mm -hmm. Now, how is that um, done and, and through whom? Well, Village Woods uh, has social services. Okay. And Dawn Hibbs oh. is the program director. Okay. And uh, they really need men to volunteer to go mm -hmm. visit men, and they have women visit women. And you more or less just establish a rapport <coughs> with that person and get to know them and uh, visit with them, you know, two or three times a month. It usually ends up being more, but it's really nice. That's wonderful. So through the social services department. Okay, yes. that's great. And then you volunteer then with the schools or is it through the garden club? Well actually I belong to a garden club outside of the Laguna Woods, okay. the one in uh, Laguna Beach. So the school system has a children's garden program and I've been finding more friends here that would like to help one morning a month and we just go and either work with the kids or help the teacher who runs that program. It's just yeah. something that I'm really blessed to be able to do and enjoy immensely. But um, of the new people that I meet here, it seems like they're running around with like a deer in headlights. I, I can't figure where's my niche, what to do. There's mm -hmm. so many things to do. And um, I think that two or three things that really helped me was subscribing to the globe and reading it in detail and picking one new thing a week to attend and um, maybe go three or four times maybe go forever or just going and leaving but I committed to myself to try one new thing every week and I'm after 18 months I'm probably doing two new things a month maybe every other week um, but I go by myself a lot because I've learned that if I go with one or two people, I leave knowing those same one or two people, but I haven't interacted with all of the other people that I really want to get to know as well. So I kind of like say, you know, just get in there and say hello and go by yourself. And I've made more friends that way than if I was just doing, gravitating toward the people I've already learn or met. In what way has living, you know, in this community changed your life since you've been here? Rejuvenation is a really good word to describe my own personal experience. And I truly mean that because um, I lived in Baton Rouge, Louisiana the last 30 years. And so I found that, you know, what Monette said is true. You kind of gravitate to the same group and do a lot of the same things. And when I came out here, it was like Alice in Wonderland. You know? <laughs> I found that I could do different things that maybe had been on the back burner or weren't available. And it's an adventure to discover California. I could drive from one end to the other end and be so happy just because of the natural beauty of the state. Louisiana is a beautiful state. Uh, I encourage people to visit it. Um, the comfort level out here and the diversity of the, the scenery, mm -hmm. you know, to have the mountains on one side of the PCH and the Pacific Ocean and drive that drive Absolutely. is the most magnificent feeling in the world. Yeah. In fact, um, I just got a convertible. Oh, <laughs> fabulous. Yeah. Have to have a convertible in California. <laughs> I put that music on, and the other thing is when you're doing that, you see the most gorgeous cars. Mm -hmm. I've seen Lamborghinis and Ferraris and <laughs> Porsches and antique cars so often that I don't know where to look anymore. <laughs> Just look out and she's looking at the cars, not the road. Yeah. Go to the mountains, the cars. <laughs> that was the one thing about that trip we took, too, because we were in that silver lariat, oh, which was attached yeah. to the Amtrak, and we just went up the coast, and they had the dining car with the dome, and it was so beautiful. It was so fun. That was a great trip. It, it really was. was. That was through the Ocean Club. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It was yeah. the Ocean Club. How about you? I am healthier 
because I feel like I can do some exercise easily every day. I walk two and a half miles every day. And um, it just, I felt a little bit isolated being a single person working and ha managing a home in Florida. I didn't have that much time to do things that are fun. And now, I, I mean, it, it's just like all the things that I worked for during my career um, and hoped for in my retirement are coming true. And there is no uh, limit to the number of things that I can put on my calendar that are just for fun. So it's very energizing and a very happy experience for me to, to be here and enjoying Laguna Woods Village and all the entertainment at the Performing Arts Center, the music and comedians in Clubhouse 5 at the different state clubs. I run out of time to do as many things as there are to do. <laughs> That's true, it's like Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, and meeting people from all over the country mm -hmm. and sometimes all over the world, you know, being exposed to different cultures out here, I think is fascinating. I mean, because it is a learning experience and the courses Saddleback College offers out here, I think are great. If you want to get to know people, go to some of the current events classes. <laughs> We've got all <coughs> kinds of people that speak up in current events, you know, with opinions, because these are retired PhDs that are teaching them. Um, people with a lengthy experience and background, you know, as professionals in their field. And I have found that very uh, interesting, you know, to hear different viewpoints, especially um, coming, you know, from the South out to the, my friends call it the left coast. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you know, great. I'm beginning to see more uh, diverse <clears throat> opinions and outlooks and perspectives in that regard, too. Have you had people come visit you? Yeah, you, um, from Ohio from? and from Florida. Oh, okay. And um, particularly people who really not spend any time in California. Mm -hmm. And um, I have another friend from high school coming in October. And the calendar is so packed already for what <laughs> I'm going to take them to do while we're here. I mean, we, we don't always stay in the village, but um, there are activities here in Dana Point and Newport Beach and Laguna Beach to show them. And, you know, having lived in a 55 plus community in Florida, I can really compare this mm -hmm. to that. And it was a much smaller community, but th there's just so much energy here compared uh, and so much diversity and so many people from other countries. And hearing about other people's lives that are different from mine, it's just. Uh, I'm never bored, that's for sure. And my friends who come to visit can't wait to come again. <laughs> now, you both belong to the 60 is the New 40 group? No, I, just, I okay. went um, the other night to a function that they sponsored, and it was blues, barbecue, mm. and beer. <laughs> 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 and it was fun. Um, you know, I may become a member, I'm not sure, but they had a beer tasting and then they had a nice buffet and they had a wonderful band and people danced. But I, I like the name of that club and I could see that they were a fun group. But I think Monette belongs. I went to their first meeting and I've gone to, that, I was supposed to go Friday, but I ended up with a commitment with my family. But um, I meet a couple new people every time I go and the interesting, it, I met, five women who included me in their bunco group and we've done things like um, go on a Saturday morning in Dana Point in a series on a hunt for clues and then we're drinking beer and having fun by 1130 <laughs> and a great lunch on the beat or on the shoreline in Dana Point there two a um, month one um, is just a small plate and maybe wine maybe playing games and another has a theme um, it's just really nice because it's there's no hook there's you know it's just go have a good time mm -hmm. you know you don't have to do anything other than um, pay a few dollars and it's great entertainment and another way to meet nice people what do you see in the future too for yourselves and what are some of your goals here I know you should have a five-year plan. <laughs> no, maybe not anymore. But. <laughs> I thought we gave that up. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> and um, I apologize because I do not have one. <laughs> maybe that's good. I looked up the word thrive because you, you said this is the name of the show. And it was to develop and to flourish. And 
I feel like I'm flourishing and maybe I'll start developing toward a goal. <laughs> because, you know, I think I've gotten my feet wet and I've made the decision to stay out here. And uh, as far as a long-term goal, I mean, I hope to stay healthy. Um, I hope to still enjoy life uh, as much as I am now. <clears throat> and uh, to get to know California better and um, just to maintain a level of contentment and happiness out here. Um, just like I met Monette, I feel like I've known her forever, you know, and there are people out here that give you that feeling and I think all moving together ahead into the future is comforting because now you have good friends uh, that you didn't have when you first arrived. So establishing that foundation uh, was important. And as soon as I get a plan, I'll call you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll be the next show. <laughs> but your goal well, possibly um, in the future. I'm going to continue to try things I haven't tried before and maybe go back to getting some golf in. Mm -hmm. I did start that, but then I, I didn't continue with it. Um, but I do want to take some classes at the Saddleback that Saddleback offers here in the village. Um, but I have grandchildren close by, so I like to um, have the flexibility now that I'm not going to a particular class every couple of days. And when they get a little more grown up and don't want to do things with their grandmother, I, I definitely spend some more time doing things with um, the Saddleback courses and um, I'd like to also know I'm so green about what is where is San Clemente and what are the neighboring cities and places to go I love adventures and trying something new so I think it's just going to be diversity and meeting more new people so mm -hmm. right and I think through friendships too like you're just saying you just met and that we've just met and I think that's really important too because I learn a lot through other people about where to go and what they're doing right. and what's interesting Absolutely. and then I'll try this because of them. I joined like 12 groups last year and yeah. I think I won't be a member of that many, you know, this year. Yeah. But still, I mean, it's exciting just to kind of try new things and I Absolutely. wouldn't if it hadn't been for other people. We're very fortunate to live here. I know, so. we are. So for the audience, what are some of the steps since you both have moved here pretty recently, what steps could they take to get woven into this community? I think of one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, four to go. Get out the door. Because um, I sold everything in Louisiana. House, furniture, you know, car, everything. And so I was ready mentally. Okay, Sold all that, had the money. Came out here with the attitude that I wanted to spend the last part of my life doing all the things that were on the back burner for so long. Like Monette said, you didn't have time because you're raising a family and you have a lot of responsibilities. And so um, I came out here with that attitude that I wanted to join different clubs and explore the 200 and something opportunities offered. And uh, I think it was kind of like you, you know, I went horseback riding, I played <laughs> pool, and <laughs> right, you know, did so many things, but it was a smattering to kind of narrow the field down. And so as far as uh, an adventure and uh, doing things, I think you just have to take the initiative right. and put yourself out there in something that you enjoy where you'll meet people with a similar interests and then like you say through those people you meet other people. So Monette and I we clicked and now we do things um, you know with other friends even outside the organized um, events. So I think it's just kind of a mental attitude of being open and positive. When I was an outside salesman uh, the first person who trained me said if you don't get up and put your your in those days suit on and your high heels and walk out the door you're not going to earn any money and here if you don't get up and go out and meet people try throw this a lot of things at the wall and some of them are going to stick and some of them are going to be for you and it's such an endless list of 
um, between the globe and the website, find and the flyers at Clubhouse mm -hmm. one and three, and and commit that I'm going to try one or two things new every week. Get out of the building you live in, and your close by neighbors and meet other people. It's very energizing and a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiastic, fulfilling things to do. That could be a stumper going alone, but mm -hmm. here I can just say people have generally been so embracing that um, it, I've never felt alone even though I went alone. Mm -hmm. I found the same thing. I took one of the club uh, trips up to see like the space shuttle and I went by myself because my friend wasn't interested and she went off and did something at Joshua Tree and I felt very comfortable because I was on the bus with everybody else and it was a tour and it was, um, you know, well-educated people explaining what you were seeing and what you were doing and it was, it was great. I mean, it really yeah. was. I felt very comfortable. It wasn't, uh, you know, odd at all. And people. nothing is cast in stone here so you can yeah. just keep on experimenting till you get a good mix of activities that's right for you. Yeah. And so many of those trips are educational. They are. I know I went on one uh, with a Saddleback geology professor, and it was a day trip, and they had a bus of about 20 people, and they took us up along the San Andreas Fault, you know, explained all the earthquake information, you know, to somebody like me coming from hurricane country, mm. yeah. you know, earthquakes were <laughs> unknown. And, uh, you know, it was, it was very educational. Mm -hmm. Is. So all of you out there, I think two main things that are very helpful is, and I know they have flyers at Clubhouse 5 as well, but um, pick up a flyer, look through the globe, pick a couple things you might be interested in, give it a try, and you'll probably meet a lot of really nice people in this community. And uh, through other people you can meet other friends and kind of widen this circle um, because we're very fortunate to live here. Not only is it beautiful, there are a lot of nice people yeah. out there, so we hope that you do that. Crazy to sit home and watch TV when you can be out there having a great time every day. True. And learning and thriving. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.